The United States Secretary of State, Antony Blinken, also announced visa restrictions on Ethiopian and Eritrean officials and others who are accused of atrocities. Mr. Blinken stressed that international actions was needed to help resolve the crisis and said that those involved had taken no meaningful steps to end hostilities. Thousands of people have been killed and many more displaced since the conflict began six months ago. All sites have been accused of numerous human rights abuses. Earlier on Sunday, the Ethiopian government dismissed allegations that civilians in the war-hit Tigray region were targeted with chemical weapons by the Ethiopian or Eritrean armies. Britain's Telegraph newspaper reported that several people had suffered horrific bones consistent with the use of white phosphorus. The chemical can be used legally on the battlefield, but its use against civilians is considered a war crime. The newspaper said among the victims was a 13-year-old girl who suffered bones when her home came under attack last month. Ethiopia's foreign ministry described the allegation that chemical weapons had been used against the people of the Tigray as malicious and beyond irresponsible.